guys, my name is Lauren. I am 11 years old. I'm a dancer and I am in middle school. I am starting a vlog and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about middle school. So on the first day of middle school, you probably ask questions like, what if these clothes aren't good enough? What if people don't like me? How do I get popular so people like me? Don't worry about those questions. You shouldn't worry about what other people think of you. You should worry about what you think of you. Um, Cause I was asking those exact same questions on the first day of school. Like, what if people don't like me? What's gonna happen? I'm so scared. Cause you know, middle school is a big jump. Um, also like on the first day of school, people um, start to change and it's kind of hard because I have known someone my whole entire life and then once we get to middle school, she changes. She meets new friends and she starts ditching me and I'm okay with it. Like with her meeting new friends, I'm okay. But then when she starts ignoring me and not talking to me, and then when someone's right next to me, like one of her friends, um, she says hi, and I'm thinking she's talking to me, but she's talking to the other friend. I'm like, seriously, like she doesn't even notice me sometimes. And middle school is hard. It's really stressful because I do two things. I'm a dancer and a middle schooler. So it's kind of stressful because I have to keep up with my grades, and so I have to keep up with my grades, or I don't do dance anymore. So if pretty much if I don't do good, everything I like will go away. Poof. Um. So on first day of school, I always get like super nervous, like what's gonna happen. So here's what's gonna happen technically. So um, the people. Um, on the first day of school, it's not too bad about the people. It's just when you get more into it, they start changing and it gets worse. And, um, they start bullying, they start judging you. And, um, I actually had a friend like that. At the beginning of the year, I met this girl and she was a very nice girl. Um, she would always help me if I'm sad. But then... When she started meeting new friends and she started getting more popular, um, she thought she was all cool and I wasn't cool in, in sixth grade. But um, so later in the year, um, I met Abby, my friend. She's super nice. She's like the best. And um, she always helps me on in everything. She's like my best friend. I've known her since like elementary because before I went to the school I'm in right now, I went to a different school somewhere else. And um, I've known her since third grade, I think. So this other girl, she um, later in the year, she starts getting a little ruder. She starts ignoring me for other people, and um, she starts lying to people because I tell my other friends about her and what she does, and my friends don't believe her, don't believe me, and um, she keeps calling me a liar, like, oh, you're lying, what I do to you, because my friends text her to see if she's doing that stuff, and she lies, so then I feel then I look like an idiot, like just trying to frame her. And then one day, um, I was just having a nice day and she, um, I get a Snapchat from her and she says it was like her birthday party then. I didn't see it, it was, I saw it the day after it was sent to me. So I look at my Snapchat and I see her name and I see I missed Snapchat, so I look at it, and she's like, are you coming to my party? She's like, are you coming to my party? And she's like, oh, wait, I didn't invite you. 
Like, she kind of just rubs it in my face. I didn't, that she didn't invite me. And it was just a little rude that I'm like, well, that was rude. Why did you say that? And, like, it's not funny. Because it sounded like she was, like, plain laughing. She's like, oh, I'm still laughing about it. And um, she's like, I'm like, why didn't you invite me? And she's like, um, well, my friends don't really like you because I have, like, a hundred people coming. Like, she starts, like, rubbing it in my face, like, her party. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, well, do you like me? And she's like, and she's like, well, you're kind of, like, really, really annoying. And, you know, I have a lot of friends, so I'm like, wow. And then she snapshotted it to, um, this other girl, who like, best friend because I snapshotted it to my other friends to prove that I wasn't lying that she was brat and she sent it to this other girl and then she started to get involved in it and she said oh she's a drama queen don't worry about it like she has no friends and um no, it just, like, really hurt my feelings because then Leah snapshotted her whole conversation to me to rub it in my face, what the other girl said. And um, she's like, oops, wrong person. I'm weak. I'm like, that makes no sense. And then what happened was that I was so upset of what she said because... Unlike my sister, I want everyone to like me because I don't want to be hurt. And um, my sister, she's just like, well, if you don't like me, okay, bye. She just like walks away. It's really funny to watch, though. So if this happened to my sister, she'd be like, okay, I never liked you in the first place. Bye. And um, so that made me just really upset. And... Ever since then, I haven't talked to her. The other girl, she went to Egypt for the summer, so I haven't talked to her. But also, this bullying was actually during school. So the next day, so the other girl, the other girl snapshotted it too. And she said, oh, she's a drama queen. Um, she was at school, and I started avoiding her, not talking to her. And finally, at lunch, she comes up to me, and she's like, Hey, why are you avoiding me? Are you mad at me? I'm like, yeah, I kind of am. I mean, I saw what you said on Snapchat to Leah. And then she's like, oh, I never... And I told her what she said and what Leah said, and... And she's like, well, I never said that because I wouldn't say that about you. And then she's like, I don't, I don't even follow Leah. I don't even follow that girl on Snapchat. And she's like, I'm like, well, that's impossible. So after school, um, I showed her what she said. I'm like, that's you, though. That's you like it was her picture her name and she was still lying to me because she knew that I knew that she was lying and she just wanted to keep lying and lying and lying until I believed her but it wasn't gonna happen because I had the proof right in front of me and she just kept on lying so I knew by then that she was not a true friend so what I learned is don't focus on the fake friends and like you know it like right then even when they're talking to you you know if they're a fake friends like if they're speaking like super quiet like I like if you look at their face when they're when they're talking to you if it's like this then you know it's a fake friend but if they're like this like nice and happy that's a true friend a true friend wouldn't say those kind of things to you. And this has happened before with the other girl because... So she was hiding from me because I have an issue where I'm really touchy. Like, I just, like, 
all over because I have a family that we love each other so much that we always like hug each other a lot and some people don't like it and I had to give her space I'm like oh, okay I'm sorry for what I did and she apologized for hiding from me she knew that was wrong she didn't do it again and we were friends again made a mistake and then she turned behind my back and did it again but except she bullied me on snapchat so I knew then that it wasn't okay and then the other girl that the girl snapshotted it to um she kept commenting rude things on my Instagram so I'm like no, I'm tired of it so I went to the principal and I told him what was going on and um he was like well I can't do anything about the other girl because she was gone in Egypt. And um, I really talked to the other girl. So there were two of them that were me. One of them is in Egypt now, so I barely even talked to her. Um, then the one who started it, she, um, I barely talked to her anymore. Like, she looks at me like, like, rolls her eyes at me a lot. I really don't care anymore. Because she's not a true friend, so I'm not going to focus on her anymore. So, what you guys should learn from this is... You shouldn't care what other people think of you. You should care what you think of you. And don't worry about the fake friends. I mean, they're just going to be mean behind your back. And they're just going to do things like that to you. And... I don't want people to go through what I went through. And comment down below if you guys, so comment down below if you guys have experienced it. I know I have before. Um, just don't worry about the fake friends, only focus on the true friends that care about you and will help you through any situation. So don't forget, I'm starting a blog. Um, I'm vlogging pretty much um once in a while so just keep up with the vlog bye